Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, 8.09. We were just getting out the door for church. Choir is singing this morning. I've not rehearsed with them, but I've been assured that it will be no problem. So we'll see. Um, I will do a quick outfit of the day. I think I've told you before, our church is pretty casual. So um, this is what I'm wearing, just something I would wear to work. So these are the dark boot cut not your daughter's jeans and it says uh I don't know what you call these shirts they're shirts that you can like roll up the sleeves if you want <laughs> I don't know they're kind of loose and flowy so um I got this in a get toured last year and then this jacket I got a toured not that long ago brighten up my world these earrings are very kind of nondescript earrings but black so nothing super exciting I decided not to wear a necklace because of the buttons in the shirt and I could put a bracelet on, but I don't really feel like it. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, maybe I could wear it. You know what? I could wear this one bracelet I have. Oh, I could, I could. Good morning, Mr. Game. Good morning. Um, so, yeah, we're about to head out the door. So I'm going to put this on and then I'll show you guys. So, this bracelet I got at Charming Charlie. Yes, Charming Charlie. So, there you go. Set outfit. And we're off to church. All right, we are back from church. It is 1040. And um, by the way, last night, before I went to bed, I made chili. And so I plugged that in this morning. It's supposed to be chili this week. So we thought it would be a good thing to have this week. Um, we're currently heating up the oven so I can heat up my leftover fish. And we've decided, since Bob has to work tonight. He's working third shift. To cover for somebody? Is that what the deal is? Yeah, his brother-in-law passed away out oh. in Maryland. That's right. So a guy that he works with, his brother-in-law passed away. And um, so... What's that? He's my crew leader on the night shift. Oh, he's Bob's crew leader on the night shift. So Bob has a bunch of shifts, and then he has leaders on each shift. And so when they are going to be gone, then he will cover <coughs> for them. So that they can... Anyway. Anyway. So, um, he has to go in tonight, he has to leave, I think he said about 8.30. So we thought that he would, he needs to, well, he needs to go to Appleton to go to Fleet Farm. And normally I would go with him, but I thought I will stay home and do all the things I need to do that make noise. <laughs> so that when he gets home, I actually will just sit down and I have, I probably have a good three hours to spend answering comments. That's how far behind I am. But, um, I will just be able to sit down and do that and answer comments. And oh, my oven's preheated. Which one do I do? Oh yeah, the upper. And um, all right, so we'll he'll take a nap. We'll have a late dinner so that he's got food in the stomach before he goes to work. Well, you look a little more cashed out now, game. Thanks. Thanks. So he's very focused. He needs to go get an ammo case. Ammo bag. Ammo bag. I don't know. I don't an ammo it on bag. Monday or Wednesday. When yeah. I was there. Really liked it. I'm glad I didn't buy it because it was fifty dollars. A dollar on sale for thirty, well, forty dollars. Uh, and of course, the one at Fleet Farm. It's a smaller store, so you know they can't obviously get everything in there. Yeah, our Fleet Farm, the one that's close. They don't close. carry it in Fleet and Clintonville, so I got to go all, all the way to Appleton. And uh, I got some other stuff I want to do. You know, we've got the garden getting that going. I got it filled up twice. I want to get some manure fertilizer to put on there now and till, till that in. Uh, so I got plenty of time. I really want to till it up really good before I plant stuff because it's never been, you know, never been worked up before. So. Right. And then I'm considering, I, when we moved in here, we had three raised beds over here on the corner of our lot. And I, uh, I took the you. raised beds out because I didn't care for the stuff that was planted in them. But, well, uh, that is not true. That is not a true story. They were over here somewhere. Yeah, there was two of them. I didn't care for the flowers that were in. Well, yeah. But also, the the first time that the tomatoes came, it was tomatoes, yeah. right? The Tom tomatoes came up. They were there, and they were green one day, and the next day, the deer had eaten them all, and he was so angry that when I came home the next day, he had pulled up all the beds, and that was that. No, it wasn't the next day. I oh, it certainly was I the left the tomato plants out there. It was the next day. So anyway, anyway, what I'm thinking about doing <laughs> is I'm a big fan of raspberries, and I know Kristen likes them, and her mom and dad, and, and blueberries. Kristen likes to use blueberries in her smoothies and stuff. So I'm considering getting some raspberry and blueberry plants.
plants. And where those raised beds were, there's some topsoil there. So I'm thinking about working that up. That's mm -hmm. better soil. And planting some of those there. Because we still have my dad's tiller here. Yes. While we have the da dad's tiller here, I can take advantage of that too. Yeah. So, um, and then I'm considering getting some roses maybe and, and giving that a shot just to spruce the yard up a little bit. So, um, That's so I want to start, down. I want to start, uh, looking no. at what this is going to cost us. Right. You it's going to start nosing around. Yeah. Check different places. I mean, places. I'm not in no hurry to plant anything. It's plenty early. I, you know, it's even the garden. I want to, you know, we're going to plant some sweet corn in there. Um, I want to get some, a uh, couple of maybe half dozen or so, um, potato seeds so we can plant some, uh, uh, red, maybe red potatoes. Um, uh, just like six of them. And, uh, I mean, those I could technically plant right now, but I figure oh, I'll plant them a little bit later because, uh, dad's already got his planted already. So we'll yeah. plant some early and then we'll, maybe we'll get some late. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So. so, yeah, so that's, those are, that's his plan for what he's going to go nose around. And while he's gone, I'm going to, there's a gal in our church. How do you, how old do you think Jenna Lee is? I'm not even going to guess. I'm going to guess mid eighties. Yeah, I mean, she's a retired school teacher, but... But and she's going to retire for it. That's my guess. I'm going to guess mid-80s. She is just the cutest little thing. She is so funny. She cracks me up. She's in choir. And she's always got her makeup done and jewels on. And she's always dressed to the nines. Um, and the little there's there's a couple of little girls that um, we have, that have kind of, like, taken a liking to us. And we've taken a liking to them. And they call her the queen of the church because she's always got jewels on. Did I tell you that? That the little girls call her the queen of the church. Oh, really? Yeah, which is so funny. Anyway, so her birthday was the 16th, and I didn't know that. So we have choir tomorrow. So um, chocolate chip cookies are her favorite kind of cookies. So I'm going to make her some cookies. And I'm going to make um, that key lime dessert for us. And, yeah, that's what's going to go down. And, of course, I have to film. I need to film first. So we will see you in a little bit. All right, so it's 1.43. Bob just got back. I don't think I've vlogged since he left. Um, cookies are done, vegetables for the week are cut, and I'm going to show you guys this dessert for Laura, for, from Laura's website, it's key lime pie, I still have to put the whipped topping on the top, that's what it looks like, or it's like a tart, <sighs> so good, so this one has a little, uh, Fleet Farm haul for you guys, da 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 da, hello, I'm back, <laughs> so anyway, I went to the Fleet Farm, I, I, you know, we get a flyer in the, in the paper every week. And I actually was in Appleton on Wednesday, and I seen this bag. I've been looking for a bag to go out to the, when we go to the firing range and shoot. Um, I can carry all my ammo in here, my clips. I can put a couple of pistols in here if I choose. Um, and instead of carrying everything individually, I can put it all in one bag and just take the bag and away I go. You know, and, what, it, you um, know what it is, you guys? It's like a train case for men. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, yeah. The, the good thing about Anyways. it is... Is when I looked at it on Wednesday, it was fifty dollars, and then in the flyer, I read the flyer yesterday, it was on sale this week for thirty nine ninety nine, so ten bucks off. And uh, obviously, we have a fleet farm, and we mentioned this earlier in Clintonville, but it's a smaller store, so not everything that's available in the big fleet farms is available at Clintonville. So I had to go all the way to Appleton. Um, so I got the bag, and then while I was there, fishing's going to be starting up pretty soon, so I got these. Uh, these wacky worms, two different colors here, and then I got some hooks. There's also some jigs. I can't find the jigs yet. I'm gonna have to keep hmm. looking. I've looked a lot of places, but these are the hooks that you would use. And all of, you do what kind of fish do you catch for those? Bass. Oh. And all you do with these worms is you take the hook and hook the worm right in the center. I think I explained that in my video. That's called oh, wacky yeah. style. Mm -hmm. And um, for for the spring, these hooks will do. You usually don't use you want in the, when the water's cooler. Um, and the fish are in the shallow water, these will be just fine because there'll be enough weight with the worm to get the, the bait down to where the fish are. But once the water warms up and the fish move deeper, I'm hoping that I can, I can locate the jigs that go with these and that'll help take the worm down into where the strikes home where the fish are. There you go. And then I picked up the furnace oh, filter. Yeah. Every, oh, oh, so exciting. Yep. You get oh, the allergen so one. Yeah, he gets so, the allergen defense for me. Um, we have a we have an iron filter for our water system that I need to stop at the Culligan in, in town this week. I'll pick that up, and I always change the furnace filter at the same time. That way, it, you know, and I do it yep. every three months. Each filter gets changed, so um, that way it's all done at the same time. So. Excellent. 
Well, I was able to get everything I needed. Yay, he was back quicker than I thought. But fortunately, I have all my stuff that's, that will make noise done. I just need to put the whip topping on this. And look at this, you guys. You can see the lime zest throughout that. Ugh. I'm not seeing it's it. It's good. Oh, you can <laughs> see it, my friend. So I'm just going to put the whipped topping on there. And then he's going to bed. And I'm going to go and answer some YouTube comments. That's my big plan for the afternoon. And go for a walk while he's sleeping. When he gets up, we're going to eat way later than normal. But I want him to, um, you know, have his belly full before he goes to work. So that's what's happening. So I'm heading out for my walk. And I wanted to show you guys that um, we're starting to see some green here. That's a good thing. He still needs to pull out some of these things, I guess. But anyway, green is good. Sorry if that's windy. This, however, do you guys remember this arborvita from last year? We got so damaged because we had so much snow. I swear to you, I think it's dead, but my dad is not convinced. But I think that right there... I want to show you how green I can't I don't even know what's planted here I need Bob for that but at any rate it's green and that's all I care so you guys I walk by these bird houses every time I go for my walk I've never seen a bird in them but it's kind of cool that they're there anyway I'm on my way back I go up to this one point sometime I'll show you the point that I go to but it's about a mile and a quarter and then I turn on come back so it's about two and a half miles Another bird feeder I never see birds at. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I just looked at the footage from yesterday, and there's not very much. So I am going to... These jeans ready to be put away. Um, I'm just going to probably do a couple of days and then put up a blah. You know? I think I, I can't remember if I mentioned this or if I just thought about it, but, um, you know, I've always done vlog pretty much like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Put a vlog, well, no, put a vlog Saturday, Sunday, Monday. But I, I'm just going to kind of do them as I have footage. So they're not super long, but they're a decent length, you know. Because otherwise, I looked at the footage from yesterday. I never really ended it because it was such a weird day with Bob sleeping for part of the day and that sort of thing. That, um, it, it just, there just wasn't much footage. <laughs> let's just, let's just say that. So, it was really weird um, having Bob gone. He rarely has to work third shift, so it was kind of weird. Let's put my shoes on, so I'll do an outfit of the day. And it is 6.40, and I wanted to leave to get to work, but um, he's not home yet, and I'd like to see him before he goes. But <clears throat> anyway, so this sweater I got at Nordstrom Rack, actually, when I was out by Lauren Joe. And it's so funny because I don't know what the original price was on this thing, but it was on sale for like thirty nine ninety nine or whatever. And I was like, I liked it enough that, that I thought that was a good price. I get up there, it was fifteen dollars. Who can complain about that? So um, I am wearing. We have customer coming in today, so I'm wearing black slacks and this sweater, which I hope you can kind of see the color of. I have the room already for Bob. When he gets home, he can just go to sleep. Um, so I don't want to undo it all. <laughs> and then this necklace is an Alexis Pitar necklace. And these earrings I've had for stinking ever. They're just long silver, you know, I don't know what you call them. It's not a bar cause it's round. <laughs> and then those are the shoes I'm wearing out those same Mary Janes I wear all the time. So I feel like I want to put a bracelet on. I'll, I'll probably just do the same cuff. I wear this silver cuff all the time. I like, I mean, seriously, these are bracelets. And this is the one I wear all the time. Because, I don't know. It's like overwhelming to me. So, I am going to finish putting together the packages of the winners of the lip lavas and go to the post office on my lunch today. Um, on my face, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell. Sometimes the lighting is okay over here. 
So on my face today, I have Plum Pop from Clinique. And this is that Sephora Matte Lip Cream, Lip Cream Matte, whatever, in number 12, African Violet. And on my eyes is just the Naked Basics palette. I just did Walk of Shame all over my lid, Naked 2 in the crease, and the dark one, the darker brown, I can't remember what it's called in the outer, and, you know, just to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit. And then I have Bobbi Brown Chocolate Shimmer Ink as my liner and on my tight line. So hopefully you guys can see that. I love this lip. It's so different for me, but I really like it. And I feel like the um, purpley tones in it make my eyes pop a little bit. So outside, this is why it's so dreary in the house, because it's dreary outside. It's all rainy, but we need the rain. For certain, we need the rain. All right, I'm going to package these things up and hopefully get to the head of Bobby. And we'll see you in a little, well, not in a little bit. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So uh, it's Tuesday morning, 6.40. And uh, I got to tell you, I miss Bobby. <laughs> Let's not tell him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I told him that last night. So um, last night I had choir, which means I didn't get home until 10 after 7. And then he left at like 10 after 8. So... I only got to see him for a short period of time. However, how nice was it that when I got home, he um, he's eating later, obviously, since he's going to work, you know, to keep him full or whatever. So um, he had chili all warmed up, and all I had to do was walk in and, and I was going to say, pour myself a bowl, dish myself up a bowl of chili. So it was really, really nice. I, uh, I very much appreciated that, and I told him so. I'm um, trying to decide what shoes I'm going to wear today. <clears throat> I don't think I know. So I'll just show you my outfit of the day. In the, I mean, boring of life. So these earrings, I cannot remember for the life of me. I just filmed a video on the... A vi <laughs> I just filmed a Bourgeois Healthy Mix foundation um, review video. And I was thinking as I was writing down what I was wearing, I have no idea where I got these earrings from. None. But I really like them. They're kind of like twisty gold things. I know the lighting in here is crazy, but I have like all the shades pulled and everything like I did yesterday for Bob. Um, but you guys have seen the sweater anyway, so this is just not your daughter's jeans. This strawberry colored sweater, which I really like. And you guys always like it when I wear it. It comes down a little bit in the back. And the name on it, the back of it, I looked to tell you guys, it's I have one piece of hair that's like sticking out here. It starts with a G, but I can't read the rest of it, so I can't even tell you. But I think I got it at TJ Maxx. I think. But it was a long time ago, so it's probably gone. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys have a hard time, like, dressing yourself this time of year? Like, I don't know what to wear because one minute it's warm, one minute it's not. It's supposed to be 50s all week this week. And that, for some reason, like, the 50s is tricky for me to dress myself. So I have a jacket over here this jacket that I think I might put on. I haven't quite decided yet. Maybe not. I don't know. So I'm going to put away. I've already decided not to. <laughs> I think I'll just throw my leather one on. Actually full leather. So, um, yeah, I really, I miss Bobby. <laughs> so yesterday I stayed here until like 10 after seven, um, hoping to get to see him before I went to work. But that was not to be, and then um, I passed him about five minutes on the way into town, so. So there's that. So I'm uploading my footage that I just took, and I'll edit that on my lunch for Thursday. And I think, since he is, was getting home so late, I'm just going to pack myself up and head on into work. And it's 20 to 6, so, yeah. Um, tonight when I get home, I think we're going to have turkey tacos. Later, though, not right away, so I'll come home and... If it's not raining, go for my walk. I mean, really, with the rain. <laughs> we need it, though. We need it. I'm not complaining. I take it back. I'm not complaining. But it's just still very dreary. But I think it's supposed to rain a little bit this morning, then maybe not the rest of the day. So that's good. And the other piece of news is that I get to take my last antibiotic tonight. I think that's right. Let's just see. Yep, only one left. That makes me happy. I'm just, I'm done. I'm done with the antibiotics. Um, it is, oh, there's a big old mark in that apple. It is, um, <clears throat> there are side effects to antibiotics that I do not appreciate. 
Let's just say that. Let's just say that. I'm going to get this. All right, so with that, I'll try to check in with you guys tonight. Um, if I do get to go for a walk, I will take you along with that. Show you the uh, turkey tacos, maybe let Bobby say hi. And yeah, I'm gonna finish up my coffee, which is cold now, <laughs> and head on to work. Good morning, everybody. It is seven o'clock, actually it's 7.04. <clears throat> for those of you that have been around a little bit, you know I like to leave by 7, but I really am trying to stick around until Bob gets home, but I'm going to need to leave. <laughs> um, it's possible he'll be done with nights today. The guy that he's covering for, I'm going to try to get some daylight in here, um, his mom had passed away, and so he had to travel far away for the funeral. Um, Hopefully this will give some light. Far away for the funeral. And was supposed to go on vacation later this week or next week. And Bob's just not sure if he's going to still go on vacation. If the guy's going to still go on vacation or not. But anyway. Um, Alright. So up for the, of the day. These jeans, they're... I don't know what you call... Are they... They're not ankle jeans because they're a little bit longer. But they're not long jeans. I really don't know. I got them at Lane last year. And they have a little bit of distressing. Not too much that I can't wear to work. <clears throat> and... This tank top is, I'm not sure if you'll be able to, there, can you see the detail there? Um, I got this at New York and Company a couple years ago, and I wish that I had got more of them because I love it and it's worn so well, like it's lasted, I've washed it a million times. This thing, it's like a Cardi, only it kind of comes down like that. Can you see how that comes down like that? Um, it, I, I, I don't know where I got it. I, I actually was in my closet today looking through the side of my closet that has stuff on it that I haven't worn lately. Like, like all my cardigans and stuff. I haven't worn, I've worn more blazers this year than cardigans. And I saw them and I was like, I don't think I've ever worn it. So hopefully you can tell it's kind of in like a burgundy wine color. Um, so normally I would pair burgundy wine with black, but I wanted to kind of spring it up a little bit. So I, that's why I went with navy blue. This necklace was a gift, but I've seen similar at TJ Maxx. Um, and has just a nice navy blue sort of thing in there and then these earrings are from Express and these shoes I've had forever they are from Avenue I believe long long time ago um all right so I never filmed last night uh first of all can we just discuss for a moment the crazy weather that went on here yesterday like crazy I need to I need to talk and I need to talk and work at the same time like crazy weather um uh, one minute it, the sun was up, then it was snowing, then it was sleeting, then the sun was up, then it was snowing, then it was, then the sun was up, then it was sleeting, then it was raining, then it was crazy. I mean, it happens in Wisconsin, but it was particularly crazy yesterday. I mean, I don't even know. I need to bring a piece of this for Kimmy, my friend at work. I told her I'd bring her a piece of this key lime business. Um, so when I got home, then um, Bob was actually up. And I, you know, was making dinner and talking to him and stuff and <laughs> totally forgot to film. And the reason I was going to film is because I wanted to get, I want, wanted to ask him what he thought on camera of the turkey tacos because we've never made tacos before with turkey meat that I can remember. He thinks we have, but I don't remember doing it. At any rate, it was really good. It tastes not exactly the same, but very similar. So I really liked it. I think we'll probably do that going forward. Um, and yeah, he's tired, you guys. I can tell he's tired. Um, I, I worry about him. Oh, by the way, speaking of being worried about things, thank you guys so much for your concern and everything with my being, being <laughs> sick. I, last night I took my last antibiotic, thankfully. I was on two weeks of antibiotics. Very happy to be done taking those. I feel, I, I was telling, um, Kristen the other day, I feel pretty much back to almost like health wise I feel fine but I am I'm just tired I can't seem to get like my full energy back but I'm getting there little by little I think each day feels a little bit better so anyway all right I'm gonna pack this up and I better get my keister off to work um if you're curious about my eye look today I'm not sure how well you can see it but it's the first look in a four looks and palette I'm working on with a pure mineral secret crush palette and yeah I think that's all I have to tell you <laughs> all right I will see you guys in a little bit Good morning, everybody. It is 6.22. <clears throat> Very bright sunlight. Um, I forgot to turn the lights off in here. Um, what day is today? Thursday. So, um, I really need to put those clothes away. Bob <laughs> is still working nights. 
and he has to work days on Saturday. Ugh, I tell you what. So our set, well, okay, let me do outfit of the day and then I'll talk to you. <laughs> How many things could I do at what time? So, um, this is, these are Jag jeans. I got these on, um, you guys can see, on, um, Zappos, actually. Last year sometime, I think. Last year in the fall. And this shirt I actually got at Nordstrom. I don't know the brand of it. If I can find anything, I'll try to link it below for you guys. <clears throat> and actually, let me know if you want me to do that. When I show you clothes, if they're still available, do you want me to link that for you? Because I will go through the time and effort to do that. I don't have a problem with it, but I want to know that you guys want to see it. And then this jacket I got it toward last fall. This is probably more of a fallish outfit, but whatever. Um, these shoes I got at Zappos. They're those bass loafers. I just, I'll just i have to be on my feet a lot later today, so I'll explain that in a minute. And then this necklace is from Charming Charlie. And these earrings are Stella and Dot. If you can see. There you go. Um, Alright, let me put this back together for Bob while I talk to you. So, um, I don't even know what I was saying, aside from the fact that Bob has to work on Saturday. So, tonight's Thursday. So he works, he works tonight. I have to try to keep this in my head. He works tonight, and then he is off Friday and doesn't work Friday night, but he works Saturday during the day. So the bummer about that is that his sister is moving, his sister Jennifer. So my niece Katerina's mom, you guys have seen her before. She's moving from where she lives now to Green Bay. And um, I'm packing my lunch while I'm talking to you. And she, um, I've already taken extra string cheese because of tonight. She was hoping that Bob would help move with the truck and everything. Um, but he has to work now so she's bummed we're bummed um bob's bummed because he can't help her um so this weekend i have um massage and hair appointment in the in case anybody's keeping track i go every eight weeks because otherwise the i call them grays eric my hair genius calls them silvers because it sounds better uh, my silvers are they get out of control and need to be covered so um Every other hair appointment, though, is just like a root touch-up. And then, the, then on the opposite time, then he pulls through different highlights or whatever. But they're not called highlights because it's not... Anyway, uh, the, the appointments are different. Like, so I really, I get the full thing done every 16 weeks. And I get a root touch-up then on the 8 weeks. Okay, not that that's important, but for those of you keeping track... And, um, anyway, so the plan is that I will do that, come home. He should be getting home from work about the time I get home. And if he feels up to it, um, we are going to head over to their house in Green Bay and to see if we can do anything to help and they want to have a grill out and that sort of thing. So I'm going to make, um, a salad to go with whatever they might grill out to bring just in case. And I think she, her favorite is tuna salad that I make. So I'm going to make the tuna salad, and then if she does, if we don't end up not going, then um, we'll just eat it here. Okay, just break for a moment to look at my nails. Look at that. Okay, don't know the colors. I'm sorry. So you probably have to look at this for two weeks without me knowing what the colors are. Because I did their jellish nails, um, and he put the bottles away too quickly before I could. Sometimes I try to take a picture and so that I can, you know, list it in the box, but... Isn't it fun? I found a picture that kind of was like my inspiration. I showed it to him and he was like, I don't know. Like, I don't go to a place that can do like crazy nail art, but um, he's like, I'll try. <laughs> and he did a great job. I was like, what are you so worried about? So tonight, um, a friend of mine from work, who's actually my boss as well, is going to be selling Arbonne. And um, I, she, you know, she and I talked and I said I would I would help her with her launch party and do like kind of mini makeovers or whatever and just give like makeup tips. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm doing tonight. I have, that's why this is here. This is like my hair touching so let me remove that. But all I did was just pack, um, 
Let me just get my hair business out of here. Isn't this cute? I bought this from um, Amazon for like touch up my perfume. I know everybody's seen those, but I still think they're cute. So I have a couple of towels in here. And then basically I just brought brushes because I'll be using the Arbonne makeup. So this is just a Sigma thing that I bought brushes in a long time ago. And then I threw a Kabuki in there from camp. And then I have some alcohol and some brush cleaner because I'm real stickler about that sort of thing. And then this is just touch up makeup for myself. But yeah, so that's tonight right after work. I think that'll be fun. Um, I've never been to an Arbonne party. I once upon a time tried the skincare, the something nine. It was way back um, before I was doing videos. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Lisa, I see when I had been using it. And so I, I, you know, trusted and still trust her opinion. So I had given it a shot and I liked it. I just didn't repurchase it. I think I used it all up or maybe my sister-in-law took some of it, but um, yeah. So that's what's going on tonight, um, which is why I'm wearing comfortable shoes because I'll be at, you know, my normal on my feet, which is not a lot, depending on the day at work, but I'll, I'm fairly certain I'll be on my feet all night tonight. So I decided I wouldn't, wouldn't wear heels. Um, so yeah. So I, I, did, I didn't get to see Bob yesterday morning. I'm not going to get to see him this morning. Um, I did get to see him last night for about an hour and a half. So I haven't seen him very much, which makes me sad. Um, but, and I, and I think I've said this earlier, I can't remember now. It, it kind of all runs together, but your house makes weird noises at night when you're home by yourself. I'm just saying, I feel, I don't ever hear those noises when I'm at home at night with Bob, but by myself, weird noises. All right. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to end the vlog here and then I will start up a new one tomorrow. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and we will talk to you soon.